The nation is mourning the loss of former Miss USA Chesley Christ, who medical officials say died by suicide. It is bringing up the difficult conversation on how this could happen to someone we thought was so happy. CBS 8's Abby Alford reports on how you can still help even if someone does not show signs of suicide. Many looked at former Miss USA Chesley Christ as a woman who had it all. She paved the way for many young women, especially young black women. So how could she die by suicide? What can you do if you have thoughts that you want to die? And what can you do if you don't even know that help is needed? A young black woman who was the former Miss USA and an advocate for mental health, an attorney, an athlete, and entertainment spokesperson, yet the medical examiner says 30-year-old Chesley Chris killed herself when she jumped from a Manhattan high-rise on Sunday. For although these are people who we may, in a way, um, look up to or even feel proud of, we have to remember that everyone is human. Last year, Chris wrote an essay for Allure magazine writing, when I was crowned Miss USA 2019 at 28 years old, I was the oldest woman in history to win the title. She continued to write, turning 30 feels like a cold reminder that I'm running out of time to matter in society's eyes. Especially black women, we feel we always have to be the strong person. And I'm so happy that nowadays we are debunking that whole narrative. But more work needs to be done. Diamond Dell founded Home Incorporated, helping others master their experience, a bridge that specializes in connecting the young black community with mental health resources. For the most part, I kind of feel like a lot of people look for these signs and they may not always be present, but the best thing for us to do is to just ask people like, how are you? Um, and you never know how that conversation can go. Dale encourages anyone who comes to you for help listen with an open heart and mind, and there's always a reason to live. We're human and give yourself grace every day. We all make mistakes. We all are trying to get to a certain level of success or certain goals we have in life, but always remembering I'm here for a reason. This is my own journey. If you feel like taking your life is the only answer, Dale encourages you to speak with a licensed therapist. Keep a journal of gratitude. And if you do follow social media accounts, make sure that they're about self-care and a positive outlook on life. All right, Abby, thank you so much. It really is a difficult topic, but we are here to try to help. If you would like to be connected to suicide prevention resources, or if you know anyone, or if perhaps you yourself is in need of support, just text the word LIFE to the number there on your screen, 858-571-8888. We will also send you links to other stories we've done on this subject.